Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well and when it rains, it certainly pours and it's pouring right now for the Fresh and Fit brand because if it was a stock, it's currently nosediving as we speak. Share prices are down, people are quickly selling. If you look at their sub count and now another incident has occurred in which fitness influencer Anna Quinn has been talking about her experience with Myron and how he operates and as I thought and suspected, the internet is eating this all up. And I'm just looking back at all the reactions to everything and you know the comments, even from my videos. I'm just I'm just not buying all of it. I'm just not buying all the reactions from the people. I'm just not buying all the outrage, or should I say the fake outrage from people who are now moved off the fresh and fit bandwagon because that's what this is. And that's what this whole situation, in my mind at least, has exposed. Because it reminded me of a conversation I had with my brother. And I don't remember, I keep forgetting what the topic for why this quote came up, but he said something which perfectly encapsulates this whole episode and it's this treason is just a matter of dates let me say that again treason is just a matter of dates now but you're thinking what's i gotta do with anna quinn well i'm glad you asked now anna quinn had already gone on record about myron Gaines on a stream that i had watched prior which is the image you can see on the screen now pay attention to the date it was released and the like to dislike ratio on this video now this was uploaded on the 10th of june so just over two months ago, not long at all. But again, back to my quote, treason just a matter of dates. Why is that so important? Well, at that time, what were Fresh and Fit or what were their brand? They were pretty much untouchable. Their brand was soaring. Everyone was talking about them. Everyone was saying, um, basically, the shit don't stink. Everything and anything that they did could not be questioned at all by their beloved fans. Now, fast forward to today after the events that took place and look at the difference. We look at the likes to dislike ratio when it comes to, by the way, Anna Quinn giving the exact same story that was told before. The turnaround is amazing. You guys are unbelievable. And it's why I'm just not buying this whole fake outrage that you're now showing apparently now. I'm just not buying any of it because let's be honest, most of you did not care at all about her story. Or let's be honest, any other woman's story when it comes to these types of situation, particularly when it involves your most sacred and popular content creator. And I still actually don't believe many of you still do to this day. I'm not buying it. I mean, you only have to look at the comments that are scrolling down the screen on the original video, whereby you can tell they were fresh and fit fans or probably former fans right now, and they were completely disregarding any and anything that she was saying because, of course, typical responses, calling the guy who's interviewing a simp, call, clout chaser, oh, he has less views, sub counts, that's the reason why he's doing this, all that kind of stuff. I'm like, does that kind of rhetoric remind you of anyone else by any chance? <laughs> I'll post a link to this video so you can take a look at it for yourself. You can see the difference in the type of comments from the last few days when this whole situation took place to about two to three weeks ago, in which at the start where obviously um, they weren't exposed, if you like, night and day. <laughs> and then when you look at the interview, you see some of the DMs that Anna got about the situation. Again, probably from Fresh and Fit fans or probably former Fresh and Fit fans. You just see the, the rhetoric. You can see just the, the vitriol and the things that have just been come her way. But just telling a story, which by the way, Again, Myron had pretty much confirmed, all but confirmed. But again, this is the problem why I don't buy this fake outrage. You guys are something else. I don't believe you guys actually care about this woman's story. I don't believe it. What one iota? And so I want to know what has changed because that's what it is. What has changed that has made all of you guys all of a sudden come to this realization that what she's saying is the truth? I'll tell you what it is. It's simple. It has nothing to do with her. It has everything to do with who Fresh Fit went up against which was another bigger male platform. So they picked the wrong fight with the wrong people and they lost. That's all that is. That's, that's, that's the reason why people have now changed their opinion because nothing has changed in terms of their character. Nothing has changed in terms of their character. Their character has not changed from when we saw them all these months ago to now. It's not changed. They just picked the wrong fight. That's all that it was because had Abram Preach been some, probably some, I don't know, female duo by any chance, I know for a fact Bail of you would even give a damn. Matter of fact, you would still be on Fresh and Fit's dick. But now, because it's not, you've decided to jump ship. This own Fresh and Fit because you have looked at the landscape for, oh, looks like we have a winner here and you've hopped right off. That's all that this is. That's all that it is. It's just typical bandwagon fans. Whoever's hot, we're going to jump on that bandwagon. If they decided to jump off, oh, because something happens, oh, 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 uh, I, 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 I never was a real fan. I always knew, I, I never knew, I, I always knew like this. Yeah, sure you did. Sure you did. Just a bunch of immature children talking about size and all this kind of other BS. And that's what's most troubling about these RP spaces because not only is it, it's affecting 
infecting, sorry, the minds of particularly young impressionable men because heaven forbid I, I even have to utter this, but I have to, I have to. But this is how I understand how things like sexual assault, rape, child molestate, molestation can all happen right under our noses and we wouldn't even bat an eyelid. I'm telling you, you look at what's going on right now and all these things are coming out right now and people have been saying this for years, but because they were hot, because they were everyone's um, go-to person, because, oh, apparently now they're speaking the truth, everyone just didn't even bat an eyelid. But now once the climate is different, because somehow, I don't know, it may have gone up against another bigger YouTuber or something else that happens. Guess what? All of a sudden now, oh, now they're wrong. All of a sudden, oh, oh, we actually believe them now. I'm like... <laughs> Really, after that point, after all the mess that that person has been through, at that point, after now the climate has changed, now everyone and their dog comes out who either A, didn't have the ball the same thing when they knew what was wrong, or B, decided just to jump off the bandwagon to save their own back. Now they come out acting brand new. That's the, what the most telling situation that's going on right now, because that is what's going on right now. Because the people who are coming out right now, I guarantee on God, on God, two months ago, two, a, a week ago, these guys were on their nutsack, but because they picked the wrong fight, all of a sudden now, oh, the light's dawned on me. I, oh, I knew about these people. Oh, oh look, miss me with that BS. Now, again, to be fair and balanced about that analogy I've just used, or that, sorry, the situation I've just um, said, I understand that the accusations of these things are very severe. So I understand we have to wait for all the evidence before we do that whole trial by social media these days, because we do know this has been proven women can and they do lie about these things. But I'm sorry. Miss me with a lot of this because when it comes to other situations, you guys don't care about evidence. You guys don't care about who's right and wrong. You guys don't care about it. If it's somebody attacking your favorite, most popular YouTuber, your content creator, you come out without barely any evidence to come and completely silence, because shut down to list like everything you can do to shut that person up. So I, sometimes when I say that, I'm like, you know what? Miss me with that BS because I know you guys don't shy away from it when it's up against your most favorite YouTuber. So sometimes I'm like, miss me with that BS. But this is what I'm talking about in the case of Anna Quinn and like the others, because I guarantee it, had they said something, well, Anna Quinn did say something two months ago, look at the difference in reaction between now and then, night and day. And it exposes everything, everything about the people who operate, not the content creators themselves, but I'm talking about the people because you guys are the reason why they're famous. Do you know this? It's the followers are the reason why these guys have these clout. It's the followers are the reason why these guys have these, you know, apparently these ego trips. It's you guys. They need you guys. That's my issue. That's why I'm not buying this fake outright. That's why I'm holding you guys to be accountable. Because I don't know if you caught this on screen, but if you caught this particular comment as it was scrolling down, I've highlighted it just so that you can have a look at it for yourself and just to show you how flip-floppers and bandwagon these, you know, so-called followers are based on the climate, of course. Um, based on if they're winners or based on their losers. And you go, you look at this, even in his back down. Now, to be fair, obviously, he kept his original comment up so you can have a look at it. But look at what he said. He was more backing down to do with the whole altercation with Abram Preach rather than some sort of altercation with another woman about sexual assault or how he was handling it. So he was more worried about, because he had an altercation, probably another um, YouTuber that he probably subscribed to and clearly has got more subs and more fame, rather than actually believing what took place. <laughs> You see what I'm talking about where this is this is what it really is. This is what this whole situation has exposed. Because people talk about accountability, responsibility, integrity, all these buzzwords. And I don't disagree with it. And I've said it before time and time again on, on, on my previous videos. But that only applies to other people. It never applies to themselves. It's the same with these armchair fans. And this is what I'm talking about. It's the same with you guys, your commenters. When you talk about these words, you're talking about everybody else. You're not talking about accountability for yourself and who you support. You're not talking about responsibility for who you support, who you shout down, who you dislike because, you know, they may have a different viewpoint. You're talking about your integrity. No, 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 no. You're talking about everybody else, whether it be genders, whether it be race, whatever it is. Supporters are the exact same as the content creators. The exact same. Because, again, like I keep saying, you are the reason why these people are famous. You are the reason why this stuff is even allowed to slide online because you guys don't hold these guys accountable until guess what? Picked a fight with the wrong person. Oh, he's my favorite YouTuber. Now, all of a sudden, now, now it clicks into gear. Now, all of a sudden, oh, oh, I didn't like this person. Oh, 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 please. Most of you guys don't even have integrity of your goddamn selves. Most of you guys have no code, no honor in who you support. Just who is the most popular. I'm just going to keep it real. Don't believe me? Let's look at some support and evidence. And let's see. Let's see if we can test your code of ethics. Let's see how much honor you guys really have. Because on the screen right now, we have an image of another ongoing situation between 
21 Studios and Donovan Sharp. And look at what attacks are being placed. Not just on Donovan Sharp, because you could argue if that's fair game or not, but also his reported wife. That's to be dis- disputed, but he's definitely his partner. Now tell me something. Is this not the exact same situation that they are now condemning Myron for? Please tell me what the difference is, if there is a difference. Now, I am no fan of either, but I will say this in terms of integrity, in terms of code, honour. There is no goddamn way his partner should be tapped the way that she has. Look at the, the images. Look at what she signif- they're signifying about this woman. Even if she may be on a slightly heavy side, what the fuck is that got to do with anything? She's not even, so, even a part of the situation. Yet, where is everyone with the videos condemning 21 Studios? Where is people saying, oh, that's foul? Where is it? I'll wait. And some of the images, do we even want to get into this? That you could argue they're slightly, if not more egregiously, racially charged. Now, I know you've also been charged in Marin with that same claim, even though we could argue based on his background, is it really racism or is it more xenophobia? I don't know, is what it is. But he surely has a better defense than 21 Studios, who the founder is a white guy, surely. <laughs> That's why I'm not buying all this fake outrage. That's going on right now. I'm not buying it. So miss me with that noise because I already know what time it is. I know what it's all about. It's the same when p- other people, I've seen videos where content creators, they're critiquing popular YouTubers and you look at their likes of this, like race, you look at the comments. By the way, the comments have got nothing to do with actually the points. It's just ad hominem attacks. Like your favorite content creators, they apply ad hominem attacks. You see how this works? But here's the rule. Here's the rule. One rule only you need to worry about. Only one rule. Whoever is more popular, whoever has more subs, whoever has more views, is always right, always right in the minds of people. The end. If you're more popular, if you're um, the talk of the town, whatever you say, whatever you do, you damn near can't do anything wrong. The only exception, this is the only exception now, <laughs> is until that person goes up against either an equally or bigger platform, now all of a sudden, they're exposed. Now, all of a sudden, they're a fraud. Now, all of a sudden, I'm unsubbing. Now, all of a sudden, I see their true colors. <laughs> this situation has exposed so many things, it's unfreaking believable. So, this is what I wanted to say. This is my thoughts on this whole situation. This is really how I kind of want to put this to a close. But I know this is still going to continue on, and I know you guys are still going to expose yourself. So, I'll be here. Don't you worry about it. I'll be here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Until next time, I'm out.